When a nuclear bomb is detonated, a uranium bullet is shot at a uranium target, causing a chain reaction that is so fast and violent it vaporizes everything in its vicinity and creates an explosion so powerful it can level entire cities. But what would happen if that chain reaction didn't happen? We want to find out, but why are we doing all of this? Well, let's rewind and I'll tell you. It all started with Oppenheimer. The movie, of course. It was good, and it got me curious. I wanted to learn how the uranium impact works. See, believe it or not, smashing things together at high velocities is a legitimate scientific field of research. These people get to go into work every day and get paid real money to smash things. But lucky you, you get to watch me have all the fun, and I get to get paid for it. In my search for more knowledge, I found a 300 page paper on it, but I ain't reading all that. So I went to Bing and searched for a little boy cross section. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, switching to Google, we found this diagram. Now in order to start an atomic reaction, you need a really high pressure impact. That's the reason this is cone shaped. So I'm going to make my own cone shape and hemisphere as well as a bullet shape and sphere because some sources show that setup as well. We're going to recreate that test using lead because that's what uranium decays into. And unfortunately, I'm fresh out of uranium-235 since my dog got into it. We'll also use bismuth because we have a lot of it and it's right next to lead on the periodic table, but it has some key differences in its properties. That'll be important later. We'll need to make some molds that we can cast molten metal into. I started with wood and then realized I would rather jump off a bridge than continue using that. And I remembered styrofoam exists. Just look how silky smooth it gets sanded away. And I really felt like bringing back peak 2017 YouTube with the thousand degree glowing red hot knife challenge. This is really fun. It smells really good. Then for extra precise shaping, I brought out the old monos and me. While that's heating up, let's make the molds. I'm going to use a method I learned when I was playing in the sandbox when I was three years old. It's a good thing I put all that work in back then because it's really paying off now. Oh, E.T., what's up, dude? I'm a huge fan. Just a dollop of daisy. No! How could this happen to... Hey look, if you tap the side, you can see the crystals forming. I'm gonna stick a stick in them for later if you're picking up what I'm putting down. However, I would recommend doing so with gloves to avoid lead poisoning. Call me Narcissus. For the sphere, we'll just make one out of styrofoam and leave that in the casting sand. Then I'll pour in the lead and it'll melt it and replace it. Mmm, burning styrofoam and lead. I love that smell. No, stop it. Well, uh... Now that we've got some shapes that are fairly close, we'll head over to the belt grinder and grind those down. Whoa, 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 not that kind of grind. I'm just going to hand sand the lead ones down to avoid getting lead in the air. Shortly after, I'll give up and just do it with the belt sander because I don't have all year. I have an important meeting with Elden Ring later. Okay, now that the pieces are ready, we can get to testing. Take it away, me. So we got the old Nerf football fletchings on there, so it'll stabilize it in the air, hopefully. All right, we have the trusty air cannon lined up at our target. Palmer's got his trusty pallet to protect him. And I'll hide behind the trusty garbage can. Fire in the hole. Three, two, one. Holy. Uh, so long to everything. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! Daniel, what did you create? I, uh, a bomb. Legit, wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely felt it smack my fingers. Look at that. Bismuth is so cool how it breaks. We just destroyed everything. Yeah, there's there's no more setup. I felt things hit the back of my head a little bit. Really? Yep. I said we watched a high speed. Oh, 
It just turned into nothing. It literally looks like a bullet coming in. Yeah. It 100% does. Two, one. All right, well now how do we do that and not give everyone in a half mile radius lead poisoning? We tell them to watch out. Smart. Done. I definitely underestimated how fast that would be going. And this was recorded at 1700 frames per second and uh, you could barely see it. So we're gonna up it to about 4,500 frames per second. See what that does. All right, recording in resolution 690 by 420. Test two, this is lead. Five. Yowza. Uh, oh, whoa. The bullet is intact. Got my lead handling glove on here. Would you focus? It's got a big old dent in the tip. <laughs> Must be from Denton, Texas, am I right? <laughs> oh, there is the... What? It didn't even care. There's just a dent in it, and that's it. Ah, the bullet just bounces into it and doesn't do anything. That's wild. Okay, here's what I want to try. Bismuth bullet versus lead target. We shall see what happens. One. Now, are there any remnants of the bullet? I see the target. Oh, much larger dent makes sense, seeing as the bullet was much larger than the pointy projectile. It's got a lot more cracking going on. It would appear that it also blew up once again. Let's watch the high speed. All right, here it comes. Oh yeah, that definitely exploded and flew off in a million pieces. This gives you perspective of how fast it was going. Watch how quickly it comes in and then watch how long this piece of Bismuth just hovers there. All right, final test, lead bullet versus lead sphere. One. Yowza. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Interesting. Or should I say splinteresting? <laughs> Where, oh, there's the bullet. Oh, yowch. Oh, that is quite the dent, but it didn't explode. It's so interesting how ductile lead is and how brittle bismuth is. Brittle bismuth. The lead target, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Where's the sphere? I have no idea where it went. Let's watch the slow-mo, see what direction it was headed in. Oh, here it comes, wowzers. Really didn't do anything. One. I just found it in the most ridiculous place. It's somehow behind this fence. Now what's it doing over there? How is that possible? I have obtained the sphere. Still don't know how it got over there. Let's go look at it. Yowza. That is a nice dent. No cracking or anything anywhere. So that's uh. Impressive, kind of interesting. Soft metals be like.